Okay, in this video we are going to talk about the Whirlpool washer pumps. And again, you'll see that I search by pack, and the reason being is because in you know if you try to buy these locally, you can spend twenty and thirty dollars for one item. But if you scroll down here and you look at this, you know here's a, a ten pack of the Whirlpool washing machine pump for seventy dollars with free shipping. So quick math tells us that's seven dollars a piece. Now here again is an example of a part that is going to make me $90 to $120 depending on uh, where the machine is located. You know, if it's located in a garage, then it's easy to get to. If it's located inside a house, that I've got to move things, take off doors to get the washer cabinet off, things like that, then I'm definitely going to charge more based on where the machine is located. Um, so, you, you know, you're going to have to have room in order to work on these because you need to take the cabinet off. But this is a prime example, free shipping, free delivery in three days, $7 a piece on the washer pumps, and you're going to use a lot of them. So I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to pull up an image of a pump that is blocked with an article of clothing. Okay, this is a good image or a good set of images to take a look at. This is your standard Whirlpool washing machine pump. It mounts to the front of the washing machine on the front of the motor, and the motor has a shaft that inserts into the pump, turns the pump in a direction which allows the water to come from the tub, pump out of the drain, up and out the drain itself into the wall void where the washing machine drain pipe is located. Now, what happens in these machines is when it's washing the pump is going in reverse to hold the water in and when it changes to the spin cycle it reverses to pump the water out. Well what happens in most cases is when a washing machine pump gets blocked up you typically have a situation occur where an article of clothing has crossed over the top of the tub between the inner and outer tub and as it's washing, the sock, generally it's baby socks, small socks that get stuck in the pump. It's because people fill the load of laundry. They turn around, they look on the floor, and they see one article of clothing. So they toss it in and shut the lid. And it floats its way over to the top edge between the inner and outer tub. And when it does that, the tub itself or the sock itself comes down to the drain. Most of the time they go around the pump out the drain and that's where the disappearing sock phenomenon comes from. But in 50% of the cases, or 20%, whatever the number is, the sock will come down, it will bind up inside the pump, and that stops the pump from moving, it stops the motor from moving, and it stops the transmission from moving. And that sock will now bind itself and block this entire pump. And the customer gives you a call and says, uh, we need to have someone come out and take a look at our washing machine because it's not draining. <clears throat> There's no water draining out. And so the culprit is the pump, so or the sock being stuck in the pump. So in this case, you're going to want to have the pumps available to make the repair because once that sock is in there, you can pull it out sometimes, but it does damage the pump by... If you click on this image here, let's go in and we're going to take a close look. All right, we're going to scroll over, and what I want to do is cover this area here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The pump itself has a plastic backing you see on the right half of this image. And as the sock binds up inside there, it will cause the a compression to occur, and that pressure is going to crack this case and it'll cause leaking in the pump. The other thing is that when you look at this image, and we're going to focus right here on this pointer, right in here, small items will go through the washing machine holes in the tub, like screws, earrings, nails, things like that. Nickels, pennies are very rare, but it does happen sometimes when the washer's overloaded. But small items that can fit through the holes will end up in the pump, and as they get into this image on the right side of the video screen, they will cut a hole right through the pump and cause leaking. So you want to make sure that you've got pumps available.
to be able to replace these and make these repairs. You know, it's $90, $120, $130, depending on what it is. So we'll talk more about that uh, as we go. Just make sure that you have a general understanding of this part because it will come in handy. You will need it quite often.